Welcome to our place, also your place. All right, guys, we have a mukbang today. So <clears throat> I have a video. I'm doing something different, something new, trying to stay creative and consistent. CC, creative and consistent. All right, so we're going to be eating, <clears throat> excuse me, this grilled Caesar chicken skewer and some basmati lemon lime. Not lemon lime. Oh my gosh. Cilantro lime <laughs> rice. All right. So I cut some extra lime. I'm going to squeeze it on the rice. I should elevate this so you can see it, right? Let's see if I could do that without making a mess. I'm gonna improvise and use what we have. Okay, that's that's a little better. Okay. Glasses on or off? Oh, okay. And I got me some water to wash it down with. Let's eat. Oh, let me pray. Father God, I thank you for this food. I pray that you bless the hands that prepared it. Bless all who are looking at me. Um, eating this and I pray that they have food as well to eat that they enjoy and that they like and that our families are blessed and we're all well. Amen. All right. Mm. My manners. I'm sorry. I know y'all are used to getting the first bite. I just did, dug on in. What about this? Bite this side. Yeah. Mm. This is good. This is my first time trying it. If you saw my video, I was cooking it in my skillet first. Um, but it was so thick and the whole skewer and stick couldn't fit in the um, skillet. So I had to put it in the oven for a little bit. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I wanted to make sure it was cooked all the way through. Hmm, it's tasty. Um, if you guys see anything flying around, it is a fly. We've been in and out today. We try to keep them out, but they're on our shoulders and our hair, just worsome. But they're not gonna share my food. This is my rice. I wish I had some crushed garlic that would have really picked it up a notch. But I did use fresh cilantro. And it's good. How's everybody doing? Huh? How you doing? If you don't mind, comment. Let me know. Hope you're doing well. Whenever you see this. All I can say, it is hot. I live in Virginia. And that's in the United States of America. On the East Coast. We're by water. But you can't enjoy the water when it's so hot. Today, it's 96 degrees. But the index is 103. So I did not feel like going to pick my oldest daughter up from work. I was like, can you lift? But I went ahead and did it. Because um, lifts are expensive, but it was so hot. I'm like, the AC is working, but barely. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't feel like picking this lady up. Definitely a mouthful. You know what? I could also cut this up and put it in a salad and make a Caesar salad since it's Caesar seasoned chicken breast. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with my throat. It's like my voice trying to go out. I know you heard it several times, but this is tasty. I wish I had spinach too as a side that, ooh, it would just bring it all together. 
What are you guys eating on? How are you staying cool? Let me know. Give me some great ideas. Mm. Before I get too far, I'm going to get something to drink and put this aside. You'll still be able to see it. Okay. So if you listened to my live not too long ago, my last live, you know that I have a new hobby. I am um, joining the gift basket community. I've been turned on. Um, I love giving gifts. I love going out there shopping. Particularly if I know someone, I listen to people very well. <clears throat> they can say it once and if I hear their tone or a spark in their eye, I know that if they're gifted that or, if, you know, if I told someone, oh, I heard that he or she likes this, they would love. I just love putting a smile on their face and I love how it makes my heart feel. So, yeah, I'm in the gift basket community, um, arts and crafts. It makes me feel so happy. I need a hobby. I definitely needed a hobby where I don't eat all the time. Food has been my hobby way too long. I know some of you can identify with that. Try to make sure nothing's in my teeth. <laughs> but look, guys, I am participating in a local uh, festival for the first time. It was a $30 entry fee. I did not have to have a business license. Uh, I've been turned down by a couple because I don't have a business license. And that's something I may plan on doing. But I'm going to see how this goes. Right now, I just like creating and crafting. And if I can get into a festival or anything without having a license, I'm going to do it. And it was only $30, if I didn't already say that. So it's in my local community. And this is something I'm going to have on my table. It is a... Um, Nice smelling cozy pink candle. It's two um, wicks in it. Um, in the back, I think I tied this up already, babe. In the back right here are a pair of size 2X um, shorts, like sleepwear shorts. And then on the side is a mask that says, wake me up for brunch. Um, then I have a Bath and Body Works thing. If you can see it right there, it's pink and glittery. It's a fragrant, um, hand sanitizer and it comes with the keychain thing. So I thought that was cute. Now, how much do you think I should sell this for? I paid, hmm. I want to say I paid $10 to create it, maybe 11 but I can't, the bags came in bulk, so I can't say that was a dollar. So I'm going to say I paid $10 for it. I mean, I'm not trying to break anybody's pocket.